Hello, beautiful souls. But finding that they couldn't get you out of their mind, and not only that, but that it felt like every other door and avenue they tried to pursue romantically was almost blocked off because of having met you and having connected with you, and those realizations ultimately pushing this transformation into the King of Swords energy. Now that might not resonate exactly for all of you. Only take that if it connects. But I'm almost getting the energy of someone trying to deny a spiritual connection or a psychic connection here. One person being more skeptical than the other. So I just keep getting psychic telepathy. Like whoever I'm channeling into, the two of you are very much psychically bonded. Like when one of you is thinking about something, the other will receive those thoughts or the same will happen with feelings and emotions. I'm hearing uncanny. It's very uncanny, the way that the two of you are connected. But it feels as though the masculine here may have actually tried to deny the spiritual or psychic nature of this connection. That may have caused heartbreak on the feminine side here as well. But in doing so, what they've done is really disconnected themselves from their soul's true path. With the temple path reversed, it's almost like their life has just felt reversed or felt backwards since they began trying to deny the spiritual or psychic aspects of the connection that they shared with you. Just the fact that so much of this channeled information is coming through is telling me that there's a really powerful connection here. So, the second sign that you have the gift of illumination is that you can unconsciously or sometimes consciously as well recognize shadow in others. Part of this is because of that soul training you've undergone yourself in this lifetime, where you have had to, of necessity, transmute so much of your own shadow that you've become very skilled at being able to identify shadow aspects in other people, even if they don't vocalize those shadow aspects. So, of course, we know that people who are adept at reading energy are capable of picking up on things that the other person may have not told them. This is a specific variation of that psychic gift, where a lot of what you pick up from other people tends to be related to their trauma, their shadow, or their hardship. So, you are naturally intuitive, but your specialization is being able to pick up or identify things about what that person has gone through, shadow aspects of their life, or their past, that they haven't yet told you. For example, you might be speaking with someone, and it just pops into your mind that this person has gone through a particular type of trauma or hardship. And then later on, that same person might confirm to you that they did, in fact, go through something of that nature. I'm hearing empathic. So a lot of this could actually be empathically picked up from people around you or from the collective. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.